Hey what is up guys, welcome back to another Minecraft Java video. Today we're going to take a look at Optifine versus Sodium and I'm going to do a lag spike comparison. I'm going to try and see how much lag spikes I can get in Optifine and how much lag spikes I can get with Sodium and I'm going to compare Optifine versus Sodium. I have done a FPS comparison video of Optifine versus Sodium. Some of you have requested that I try and test out and see if I am getting more lag spikes with Optifine or if I'm getting more lag spikes with sodium. So we're gonna compare Optifine versus sodium, but only look at the lag spikes this time. I'm not gonna to focus too much on my FPS. Obviously we are gonna have a look at the FPS graph in the top left there and see how the FPS is dipping when we are experiencing lag spikes in our game. But I'm not gonna actually look at the total number of FPS I am getting. What I have done, I've gone ahead and actually increased my video settings to 32 chunks. As you guys can see, I have actually got Optifine open here and I've put the simulation distance to 32 chunks as well. If we go into the details, we can see I've put the entity distance and the biome blend to the maximum levels there. I've also gone ahead with Optifine and put all of the performance based options and set them to on so that we can actually see how that compares with sodium which also has some performance based options as well so i'm going to try and see a comparison here of optifine versus sodium but this time we're only going to focus on the lag spikes and not on how much total fps we are getting with optifine or how much total fps we are getting with sodium so let's take a look now at optifine and see how much lag spikes i am getting when i am using optifine the test i am going to do today is i'm actually going to go into first person mode here and i am going to actually walk around this house as you guys can see i'm then going to take a look at how much fps is dipping for me and what kind of fps dips i am seeing on the graph there i'm also going to go ahead and enable the f3 console with the tps showing as well as the fps at the bottom there so you guys can see that we have got three different graphs showing here and we can see how much dips i am getting in my fps and how much lag spike i am getting i'm going to do the same thing for sodium as well so we can get a nice comparison between the two and you guys can see hopefully on my system what kind of lag spikes i am getting with optifine on the maximum settings and what kind of lag spikes i do get with sodium on the maximum settings so i'm just going to actually start walking around this house and as you guys can see while the scene changes the graph at the top left there does actually dip slightly where we can see some fps dips there and you can see at the bottom right there we do have some red lines orange lines showing there for the tps as well and you can see the same thing happen at the bottom left graph there as well so as you guys can see with optifine i am actually seeing a bit of lag spike especially when the scene changes now if i was to stand still obviously everything would just look really good and we would not see any lag spikes but with minecraft you are hardly ever standing still i have noticed that i do get more lag spikes with optifine compared to using sodium some of you might get better performance with using Optifine on your system, so it can be hardware specific, but for mine, I do actually see more lag spikes happening when I am running Optifine. So as you guys can see at the bottom right there, I have seen a red line there on the TPS side and on the top left graph there, we can see some wider dips there where we can actually see the frame rate graph actually show a V shaped sign. It is going to be interesting to see how that looks with sodium. So let's go ahead and now open up sodium and see what kind of lag spikes I do get when I run the game with sodium. All right, so I've now loaded the game and I have actually got sodium now. So if I go into my options and go into video settings, you can see that this layout is to do with sodium and we do have different options here with sodium. And obviously we have put everything to 32 chunks, similar to what we did do with Optifine as well. I have actually got better FPS with using sodium compared to using Optifine. Let's go ahead and actually see what kind of lag spikes I do get when using sodium. One thing to note with sodium is that you actually have to wait a couple of seconds when you first load into the game for everything to normalize so just bear that in mind now let me do the same thing and let me actually run around this house and see what kind of fps dips i do get when i do use sodium as you guys can see with sodium i am getting constant green 
graphs there at the bottom left and bottom right i can see a, a bit of yellow there however it was not the same as it was with optifine which was giving me a couple of red lines as well if we take a look at the graph there on the top left there which is the fps graph we can see that we do have a more normalized pattern there and we're not seeing that much of a v-shaped dip compared to optifine so on my system i actually am seeing a much better performance and less of a lag spike when I do use sodium compared to when I was using Optifine. So in my opinion, if someone was to ask me for lag spikes, which one would I recommend? I would actually recommend that you guys actually go ahead and use sodium on your Minecraft version 1.18.1 to avoid any kind of lag spikes. However, if you guys are getting low FPS with sodium, then I would recommend that you guys use Optifine and try and enable the performance based settings in Optifine. As you guys can see on my system I am getting some good performance here when I am using sodium and my lag spikes are pretty minimal as well. In terms of the actual FPS performance there we can see that the graph there is not fluctuating as much as it did with Optifine. If we go back into our options and actually turn down some of these settings go ahead and change all of these settings to the lowest possible that I can set. So I'm going to set the render distance to 6 max shadow distance to 2 and the simulation distance to 5 there and let me go into the quality section and reduce the entity distance to 50 and change the biome blend to 0 as well I'm also going to change the mip map levels to 0 as you guys can see the FPS graph on the top left there is a near straight line there with a couple of dips as we can see with the FPS dips however I am not seeing any lag spike that is a major concern to me at the moment so if you guys are on a low end pc then you can actually go ahead and turn everything to the lowest possible setting and hopefully with sodium you should get better performance similar with optifine if sodium is not working for you then i would recommend optifine if you guys have found this video useful please do give us a like and also do leave a comment below on what kind of lag spikes you are getting what kind of system are you running minecraft on and what kind of performance do you get inside your game do you get better performance with sodium or do you get better performance performance with Optifine and also let me know if you guys found this video useful and if I should do a similar sort of video with more mods such as Starlight, Lithium and other performance type of mods that you guys would find interesting. Please also do subscribe to this channel to help support it, help it grow and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.